Hey folks, Vardas Mbothik from Sergio Virus here. Today we're going to see a new plugin we have met for our studio production that is called Blender VSC Easy Proxy. So what it does is basically, you know, you can create your um, proxy um, in Blender Video Sequencer Editor pretty easily with this, uh, this add-on. And it uses FFmpeg library. That means, you know, it will be faster to render, uh, faster to create your proxies. And also we have uh, set, uh, some setups uh, to minimize the effort. Uh, hopefully it will be helpful for your uh, for the community and uh, hopefully it will give some pointer uh, to the main developers to how we should you know organize this proxy thing so let's get it started and let's see all right so first of all we need to uh, go to this um, link the link will be in the description all the links will be in the description so let's go to first of all we need to install ffmpeg and if you go to the ffmpeg uh, go to the download section you can uh, download your packages here uh, for Linux what I recommend is basically go for um, you know your repository and uh, just install if app install or DNF install FF MPEG and uh, we have installed it uh, earlier so yeah here it is so now if we go to the system uh, we can type FF MPEG FF MPEG and uh, we can check our MPEG setup here so it is installed here so uh, let's n g uh, now go to the windows and uh, let's see how to work with it all right so for windows what we're going to do is basically go to the download section and we're going for our windows and let's go here okay and let's download the build so I have already uh, downloaded the build here so let's extract it and uh, here we go the ffmpeg so i'm just going to uh, delete everything here and let's write it ffmpeg here we go so now um if we fire a blender which should be there <coughs> what we can do is basically uh if we go to the f4 preference and uh, let's type for vsc and here is our VSC. So it is telling that uh, the environment variable. So if we go to the uh, go here and uh, let's go to desktop and here is FFmpeg bin and this is the FFmpeg exe. Oops. Yeah. So now uh, the file is this. Okay. FFmpeg bin FFmpeg exe. So that's how you can. Uh, work with it that means you need to go here ffmpeg bin and ffmpeg exe okay if you don't have set the environment variable and uh, this is the proxy directory this is the custom proxy directory uh, it will be in your uh, user um, setup here and if you don't just want to give it something else you can go here uh, suppose desktop it will be changed to desktop so I'm just going to reset the default value here all right uh, so this is for you know if you don't want to set the environment variable so how can you test that you have environment variable go to the windows run windows r press windows r go to the cmd and type for ffmpeg so you will see that ffmpeg is not recognized that means uh, the environment variable is not set so how can you set it okay let's go to copy and uh, let's go for C drive here and I'm just going to paste it here the FFmpeg here okay so now let's go to um, Windows R press Windows R Windows key plus R and then uh, no sorry but go to uh, Windows key and uh, search for environment variable edit the system environment variables okay select it here go to these environment variables and uh, search for this path okay now let's create edit okay and here we're going for a new sorry not new uh, just uh, go to the browser this PC C drive ffmpeg bin select this bin folder press ok okay so it will be C drive and ffmpeg bin press ok 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 now press windows r 
and uh, type cmd go here and uh, type ffmbeg and now you will see that ffmbeg is set correctly environment variable okay so if you have environment variable then uh, what you can do is go to the preference and just right click reset to default color so ffmbeg will be the um, environment variable so you can work with it pretty much easily and another thing is uh, we will see it later that we may need is window and toggle system console so you can that's how you can toggle your system console in blender all right so now let's get back to work now it's time to install the add-on so let's go to here and uh, let's download it from here and let's set the file and here it is so just extract it and you will get this okay so uh, let's go to blender and let's go to f4 preference and I'm going to install and let's go to desktop and here it is okay so let's install it here so here is our guy alright so let's check it here so uh, now you can see that there is a preference that is called the FFmpeg um, executable if environment variable is not set. So, um, if you are if you have set up uh, the environment variable like we have done in Windows or in uh, you know uh, Linux, if we type FFmpeg, so you will see the environment variable is set. So that means we don't need to type anything else FFmpeg or etc. Et um, but if you don't have doesn't uh, you know don't have uh, set the environment variable, you need to go to uh, the bin folder we have uh, shown earlier all right and there is path for global proxy directory uh, that means you know the default path where the proxy should be saved so we are using uh, the default one that is the home uh, you know your home folder in, in your home directory the easy proxy cache here you can change it uh, if you want to just go for uh, desktop uh, suppose uh, you can do it like there as well okay no problem you can just accept it and it will be changed all right so it is now in desktop so we are going to reset the default value here okay and uh, other things are delete proxy we will see it later all right so now let's set the preference and let's go to video editing so in video editing you will find it in the proxy cache uh, folder here so let's there it is the easy proxy setting so uh, there are several buttons uh, uh, let's start working with it first let's import a uh, strip here all right and let's go to audio scrubbing and uh, frame dropping okay so you can see that it is really hard to you know the scrubbing is not smooth so uh, there are three ways we can create proxy here okay the number one is you can select your um, strip and you can create your proxy okay and the proxy will be done so you can now scrub it okay done and uh, there are other ways so now if we create proxy again it will say that the proxy exists that means we don't need to create the proxy again that means if we toggle the proxy off and off so uh, toggle toggle proxy will toggle the proxy okay you can see the original here okay and uh, you can turn off toggle proxy off and if you can see the proxy set up here so toggle proxy on and off okay now um, there are other ways to do it let's see so let's talk about the create all proxy so suppose we have multiple strips like this okay and uh, this one he doesn't have any proxy this one has proxy so what we can do is basically just create all proxy so uh, it will check if uh, any strip has proxy yes this one has proxy so uh, it, it was saying that uh, some proxy exists and uh, this one di didn't have any proxy but now it has the proxy okay 
so that's how we can work with it so create our proxy so suppose uh let's see this guy as well so it will create some more uh timing here so let's go create our proxy so it is now creating the proxy so unfortunately we could not uh, create the uh, you know confirmation setup here now uh, so you need to use terminal here in Windows you need to use you know uh, the window uh, console uh, you know and in Linux you need to use uh, this terminal but it is not a matter because you can actually uh, cut your stuff here you know uh, you can do all of your usual stuff you do and uh, when the proxy is finished it will uh, tell you that the proxy is finished and uh, it will be done uh, so it's a huge file so it will take some time so suppose we are cutting everything and uh, the proxy is doing its job in the background so yeah so yeah the proxy is done and now you can see the proxy is fit okay if we toggle the proxy off you can see Let's toggle the proxy off so you can see the high risk. And uh, if we enable the proxy, you can see the so uh, what is our methodology here is basically uh, basically pretty simple. So we are going to create the proxies in background, and uh, we will uh, you know um, uh, use our um, uh, you know uh, the cutting and stuff, importing and stuff. And when the proxy is done, then it will automatically change to the proxy setup. Okay that's how you can work with it so now if we go to the create all proxy again you can see that uh, all the proxy is actually done so it is not going to uh, create another proxy layer here so yeah that's how we can work with it so if you have a audio file and uh, try to try to create a proxy it will say that no proxy on sound file uh, this is also true for image okay if you want to create a no proxy on image file so sound and image file is not supported by these proxy setup all right so now let's see about this create proxy in browser so let's click it and uh, it will open a fi file browser where um, you know you can navigate your bins uh, you know the movie files so suppose we need uh, these three these three in future so we can create the proxy here okay and uh, this proxy was exist so that is some proxy exist and other files are you know creating the proxy in background okay so suppose now I want to use it uh, suppose this one okay so to use it we can go here and uh, yeah we can toggle proxy on, on and off or just you know create all proxy here and uh, the proxy will be exist and uh, everything will be online here okay so you can toggle proxy on and off here as well so that's how you can work with it so suppose uh, we need uh, tier MTV as well so yeah so let's go for toggle there we go and uh, it will come because it is working right now so let's see and yeah so let's toggle proxy on and off here yeah. so that's how you can work with it pretty easily as well so it is uh, like you know uh, having a bin, bin folder here okay so uh, yeah uh, then you can create uh, select all of your movie file and uh, create the proxy in batch okay so some proxy exist and uh, it is not doing anything because all the proxies are actually done so it is not going to do it again okay so now let's talk about this override and frame uh, freeze blender so suppose uh, we are we have uh, these proxies right so it says proxy exist and it also says proxy exist and we can see that the proxy is running so um, if you want to overwrite this proxy we have in our hard drive, uh, hard drive and what you can do is basically uh, click this overwrite and then you can create all of your proxies again and it will create the proxy for you in override mode okay that's it and now you will see your override here so uh, um, all goes with create proxy create all proxy and uh, create proxy in browser and these are all uh, going to work with this override as well 
so suppose now we need to uh, use um, the freeze blender so what is uh, what does it do is basically if we check this and uh, let's create all proxy it will freeze the blender uh, when creating this proxy okay it will freeze the blender and uh, when uh, the proxy are done it will say transcoding is done okay so that's the only way we could uh, use um, to confirm that uh, the transcoding has been done so uh, freeze blender so if you have a huge project you can do it like that uh, it will freeze the blender and uh, after the transcoding is done it will say the transcoding is done but I don't recommend it uh, let's turn it off turn it off okay uh, now let's talk about the CRF quality the CRF quality let's go to override and uh, CRF quality is um, the lower makes higher uh, you know bigger file size and uh, better quality that means uh, you can go maximum 35 or you can just check 50 here as well uh, no it will go for 35 um, so if we uh, the default rate is 20 okay so 20 is much more standard uh, for this kind of um, project so if you want uh, more quality then you can do it like something like uh, 3 or 4 something like that it will create a more uh, you know better quality uh, proxy for you so let it update okay, let's go here let's see this guy there you go. so you can see the proxy here is much more better but the file size is really high here so CRF quality 4 uh, by the way I have not shown you the file yet so let me go to my home directory and let me show you where it is it's here easy proxy cache okay you can see the file size is 32 MB now now if we go to CRF quality and uh, let's give it default 20 and let's create all the proxy again and it will let's turn off toggle proxy there we go. and turn it on there we go. now you can see the file size is 5.8 MB okay so that means uh, the higher the CRF quality uh, the lower the file size and lower the quality as well and uh, the lower the file size uh, CRF quality the higher the file size and the higher the quality so CRF is working in inverse okay uh, so yeah the basically that's it now there is only one thing left that is called if we go here VSC okay and uh, this is delete proxy folder so what you should do is basically you should close blender and uh, then uh, start blender again when you are doing this operation let's go to edit preference and now we are going for VSC and uh, yeah I want to delete the proxy folder here and this is my proxy folder okay so let's delete proxy folder okay here we go alright so now that's how you can delete your proxy folder as well so let's see another things so there is another thing that uh, we have a global proxy setup here so what is the benefit of it you can see that uh, these things are you know already proxy so uh, let's close it and let's create a new blender file and uh, here we go so if we go to the video editing now here we go so we can uh, use that same file we had earlier and you can see let me go here there we go and let's go to the proxy cache turn off everything and let's go toggle proxy okay uh, let's create uh, create proxy there we go the proxy exists so you can see that we don't need to reproxy anything so we can use the global proxy setup here which means uh, if the proxy exists we can use in another project and other instances so that's how you can work with it by the way uh, you saw a glitch that a toggle proxy problem so if it happens you need to uh, click the create proxy 
and uh, then you can go for docker proxy okay so that's how you can work with it all right so that's it i'm father sympathy from city virus and we're going to see you next time bye bye